My name is Mohsen Bayari. I'm an assistant professor in group operation, information and technology in Graduate School of Business at Stanford University. I worked uh, two years as postdoc uh, in Microsoft Research and there I worked on hospital readmissions. That means uh, we use hospital data, the hospitals that work with Microsoft and uh, use Microsoft software to tackle hospital readmission problem. We worked with uh, uh, algorithms that extract information from large amount of data. And we went to the hospital and said, uh, what problems do you have uh, that we could actually leverage the data that is already collected to tackle? And they mentioned hospital readmission to us. When a patient uh, is discharged from the hospital and then the patient comes back in a short amount of time, say in 30 days, it's called hospital readmission. And this is actually a big problem. About 20% of Medicare patients return to the hospital uh, in a short amount of time. And uh, they estimated the cost of that, those readmissions to Medicare is about $17 billion just in one year. One might say, okay, if a patient comes back, that could be okay, that could be just uh, an accident or some other condition. But in fact, the same study indicated majority of the readmissions are because of a problem that wasn't addressed uh, properly in the first visit. Now, with the government's uh, measures, they are essentially incentivized and they have to do something about it, otherwise they'll be penalized. And this has generated a, a lot of activity in this space. The difficulty here is which patients would need the interventions in advance. So we designed an algorithm that sifts through hundreds of thousands of patient records from the past and finds patterns. Based on these patterns, it would know which patient is riskier than the other ones. And then it would pick those patients up and says, okay, this patient needs an intervention. For this patient, you need to send a pharmacist to their home. For this patient, you might need to just have a follow-up phone call. And this is uh, very helpful to the doctors because uh, these are just recommendations and looks for things that they might miss. I think there are about dozens of hospitals that are currently using the system. And even there's about maybe 10 startup companies who are trying to build readmission prediction solutions and some of them are being implemented. So I already see a boom in this space that uh, companies are trying to leverage data and uh, tackle problems such as readmission. So readmission is one problem. There are other problems in healthcare that uh, can be addressed uh, using uh, data analysis, giving early intervention uh, recommendations to the physicians for various, uh, various adverse events. These are automated real-time uh, score generations. And uh, the new techniques that are essentially used for data analysis are more powerful and produce very accurate results.